Okay, so basically Stevie's done a thing. I did a thing. Yeah, you've edited together all of the bloopers, because at the end of every episode, if you didn't know, at the end of the episodes, we have the little outro music, and then at the very end, I tend to add a couple bloopers in of times we don don-goofed in the episodes. I get all these outtakes, and only one of them really gets used every episode, but it's usually like at least five. So there's a whole lot of us messing up and laughing that you can listen to. Because... We never record a podcast 100% perfectly. Things always go wrong. Mostly on my end. But here's a thing. I hope you enjoy it. It's it's funny. It's completely out of context. You get to listen to us when we mess up and digress onto stupid things. It's great. It's funny. Enjoy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Where's the seven? There's no seven. 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 Eight. Nine. Ten. Okay. What happened it's there? Better than Skype. I said seven, but I don't think it picked it up. Hmm. Oh, okay. It's better than Skype. That's all we need to know. <laughs> okay. That's recording away. Discord's working fine. Right. Shall we start this again? <clears throat> we'll have to record it again then. Whoa. Number wait. three. Woo. Have you ever oh, been to a pantomime? My little one's still in here. Yes, I have. A lot. They're good, aren't they? Yes. Okay. Hello. Um, he's just like, sorry, my bandits like fire <laughs> my shoes and he's just, he's chilling out watching me record. It's it's quite cute. He might come and sit on my lap in a bit if he feels a bit adventurous. Otherwise oh, he's sat there. <clears throat> yep. Sorry. Let's do that thing. You know that <laughs> podcast thing we do? We should do that today. Be quite good. It's been a while. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> shall we start with don't touch that dial? Yes, I believe we shall. Not that it's written down in our uh, little itinerary or anything. Just as a crazy random whim, <laughs> shall we start with Don't Trust That Dial? Yeah, it's not like we have a sheet telling us to do it first that you ignored anyway and filled it out of order. I didn't ignore it. I just filled it in slightly wonky. <laughs> you ignored it. Apart from Brock and Misty, who rarely play any plot. Any plot? Who rarely play any part in any of no, the No, they battles. don't play any plot at all. Not a single plot in this. They don't play plot. They don't play plot in the... <laughs> There's the motorbike. Yeah. That's the evidence that we're definitely recording. But yep, yeah, so these rings fly around So TK they... sets off for school while his mum writes about the historical significance of toilet paper. I've still got stuff to say, dude. How? Oh yeah, I forgot. Gatamon. Gatamon dies. We've got... Um... I'm skipping notes for some reason. <laughs> Didn't the date... The date? Why can't I speak English today? Mm. Um, and then... They're in the, in the, I can't say the digital world. I've not got the... <laughs> ver, the oral dexterity to say those words together. <clears throat> yeah, they are in the digital... Digital world. They're in the, the digital dishwasher world, world. In the dishwasher world. <laughs> it's not like... Um, Armadillo Mon becomes a submarine <laughs> became a submarine for why <laughs> for why though oh because it's an egg you know reliable and digimon can digivolve into weird things i mean paddy no why am i automatically calling him paddy 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 <laughs> patamon who's an orange bean with wings becomes an angel mm. so i don't see why an armadillo True. can't become a submarine <laughs> as long as he believes in himself <laughs> I'll come back TK if you want me to still the best line mm, so passive aggressive <laughs> I still think so... it would be better if you just said if you give a <laughs> <laughs> and it's odd which is you no it's two it's episode <laughs> okay, now. we're off to a great start did you know that number two is an even number Yes, I did. I legit thought for a second. No, one's an even one, and it's, it's even odd, even odd. Okay. If it's been... Oh, it's kicked a box. It's fine. I really hurt my knee at work, so like I need to keep my leg in weird shapes. <clears throat> That's beside the point. Mac and cheese would definitely stop me going, but band practice, maybe not. Okay, I think you need to uh, sort out your priorities. I really like just any sort of pasta covered with cheese. Okay, as a little side note, one of my favourite meals is literally just like a bowl of pasta and you just grate some cheese on it and mix it in until it becomes like a mess of cheese and pasta. It's so good. 
I like it when you if have you feel, tomatoes as well, though. Oh, I'm feeling fancy. Put a bit of bacon in it. Mm. That's so good. I'm going to text my partner and see if he can get some <laughs> pasta and cheese. Okay. So, Is that a car or a motorbike? That's a car. We um, haven't had the motorbike yet. He's waiting around the corner till we get halfway through. It reminds me of Paddy. <laughs> oh, bless. Um, you need to write more of that. I would, but I'm actually podcasting at the moment, so I can't. <laughs> you need to do it later, because I'm going to be at home all weekend and I need entertainment. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm not getting um, um, Coupo back for... No, I said it was at least this weekend, if possible. So like, I'm like, yeah, it's cool. I can go do adventures with a tiny little jelly bean, which I will not call a jelly bean because he gets upset. <laughs> One sec, I'm talking about voting. Everyone should go vote. Well, I don't know why I'm saying that. Well, this it's too late now because this is coming out, coming like a week on Saturday. Okay. A week and a bit ago, you should have gone voted. Yeah, if you're in England, you should have voted on on today. It's it's the eighth, and you should get gone vote. I voted this morning. It was good. Please, I hope we're not in a, another Tory government world. I uh, I voted for Theresa May. Theresa May all the way. <laughs> Theresa May all the way to yeah, the other side of the planet, ends. where she can just die. I did not vote for Theresa May. I need to say that. I need to make that adamantly clear. No, good. We believe in human rights. Because yeah, and privacy when using the internet. Cool. She wants to stop terrorism and she feels like she can, she thinks it's okay to take away human rights for the sake of fighting terrorism. And I'm like, okay, no, that becomes like, I can do whatever I want if it's to stop terrorists. Terrorists, by the way, is not a real, like, I know it's a real thing, but it's not like behind every dark corner there's a person in like a turban standing there with a knife or a gun ready to stab anybody. That's not terrorism, but that's the way she makes it out to be. Terrorism is one person who has gone too far and too extreme in their own ideals and they act out in a bad way so the idea of everybody in the entire country basically giving Theresa may the the freedom to do whatever she wants for the sake of fighting the terrorists is like stupid she just wants big brother yeah but like okay i know we've had the two attacks but like terrorism isn't a massive thing no like we don't really get it as bad as um, America because we have gun control and everything. I know this is a massive aside, but it's kind of important for today. But like, you know, we had we had the London Bridge attacks and where they they were sorted. It was sorted in like what eight minutes because we like because of the system we have in place and the whole Ariana Grande thing, which was which was absolutely awful. You know, there were systems in place to stop that, and you can't be one hundred percent vigilant one hundred percent of the time because that becomes a police state, and you can't be like that. Mm. So. Yeah. It's upsetting and distressing, and I'm hoping, like, I've had to have the conversations with my older generational family and be like, look, you need to vote for the younger generation now, so you need to vote for what we kind of want over what you want, because no offence, you're 85. It's not going to affect you as much as it's going to affect us, so you need to think about what you want to do and how is it going to affect everybody you know, because, like, a lot of people on, like, my mum's side and stuff, they're they offensively racist people and they're not fun people. I don't associate with them, but, um, you know, going to talk to them and say, look, I know you want to vote a certain way because of quote unquote terrorists, but that's, that's not a problem. Like it's not as big of a concern for this nation as opposed to like the fact that people don't earn enough to live. Basically, you know, don't, don't scare everybody into voting for you just so you can come up and fight a problem that barely exists. It exists. Yes, but it's not like, you know, we're not cowering in fear of, of, of brown people. You know, we're, all at home eating our soup because we don't have food because we haven't like it's so expensive to go to university and do anything and then get a job it's so difficult to do all this sort of stuff so you know i know which one i'd rather try and sort out right now yeah <laughs> sorry for the super tangent super tangent it'll, it'll go into the um, outtakes <laughs> yeah it's, it's it's kind of important and i think it'll be worth mentioning at some point but fingers crossed i just don't want us to fall into even more of a hell dimension okay we've already got brexit and everything we've already got the orange man in the white house we can't we can't be in this hell dimension anymore than we are now <laughs> we don't need this mm. um what were we talking about sorry my, i sent my partner a text um he was like did you go did you get to go vote i said yep I was like, Theresa May all the way. He's like, I will divorce you. But if May gets in, I won't have to. I was like, oh, snap. Yellow Pokemon and stuff. Because that's also why she loves the Electabuzz sports. T- there he is. Yay. 
Okay. One sec, I'm talking to my partner about some. Are they uh, sorting out pasta? No, they said uh, the newspapers in the in um, thingy make him sick because the headlines. One of them's like, "Vote for May today." Yeah, uh, this is a political episode, an unexpected political episode, and he's just saying about how the headlines are all like disgusting, all like, "Oh, don't let the terrorists get to you and vote for this person." Well, of course, all the newspapers want the Tories because the newspapers want to be rich. Mm. Just don't read newspapers. They suck. They don't give you news anymore. They just give you opinions. Hmm. Yeah, that's why I, I get all my news from online and stuff. You can listen to more of us on SoundCloud, iTunes or Stitcher, where we like getting reviews and comments. And you can message us via our Facebook, Twitter and with the World Thread. And also email, which are also linked in the show notes. I said that very <laughs> wrong. <laughs> Thank you. Oh dear. Way to go, Skype. Way to go, my internet. You are supremely... Yeah, your internet suddenly suddenly dropped. <laughs> I didn't hear a single thing that you said, apart from like well, the I last... Well, I sang like, the song. The last half a second of like the uh, intro song. Well, that's all that you need. <laughs> it really isn't very long oh, for you back. then, if you only heard at the end. Oh, well. Why, we why can, is we my can internet so... F- <laughs> f- <laughs> f- 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 balls. You've got to beep that all out now. That's your own doing. No, I, I, I'm just going to edit it all out. That's why I'm doing it, because it's fun. <laughs> what would you like to start with? Anything in particular? Or should I just go for it? Pardon? <laughs> I love it. It's 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 works perfectly until you need to start recording, and then it just doesn't work at all. It was working fine. What What is wrong with it, really? Honestly. Has it lifted back up? Because you sound okay now. It's like the second you want to start talking about some. Okay, yeah, it seems to go. It's, it's back to normal. Honestly. Ah, it's probably because we've got housemates watching Netflix and hogging <sighs> all the internet waves. Oh, well. Well, just get rid of them. Just get rid of them. It's fine. I'll just have to murder them. It's the only <laughs> solution. I mean, I can't just ask them nicely. That's just unreasonable. I have to kill them. They'll probably say no, so you, you've got to murder them, basically. Mm. This is this is a testimony. This is this is evidence. This is what this is evidence <laughs> that they'll put in court and play in court when the murders begin. Yeah, but then they'll just be like, "It was in self-defense of the podcast and the recording, so it's fine." Hmm. Something tells me they won't be so uh, lenient. They will. You'll testify for me. That's essentially the same as, like, breaking the law and then your defence is, do it for the vine. <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, to be fair, you did it for the vine. <laughs> but vine's dead. It is. Rip vine. <laughs> okay, Edman, we're doing it. Well, I think if I didn't go and look at it now, it would have just bugged me for the rest of the day. Oh, wait, I made a pun. Did Genuinely. you really? <laughs> no, I didn't. Did it just fly right by? Also, like, Paris and Parasects, like, they look like crabs as well, but they're bug and grass. The bugs. Oh, I suppose they could be like those little red crab bug things that you see on moss and things. Okay, well, there are a few that don't look like bugs, but are bugs. But... <laughs> They are the exception to the rule. Yeah. <clears throat> the way it walks, almost like a, a pangola. Like a what? A pangola. Is that a fruit? It's what Sanctuary's based off of. So it's not a fruit. It walks with its hands almost like held together. He's very shy, which is cool. They can't, you can't teach the bugs communism. <laughs> We found the title of the episode. You can't teach bugs communism. Let me just note that down somewhere. (laughs) Can we not just call it Bugs Are Racist? No, because that's not as funny as you can't teach bugs communism. Okay. That's written down at the bottom of my sheet now. Because now they're like, wait, what? whoa, where's this communism come into this? Who's got these communistic ideas? Let's listen to find out instead of, they think bugs are racist. Okay. <laughs> this is such a clickbait podcast title. <laughs> bugs are racist? Like exclamation mark, question mark, like a circle around a Heracross. Bugs like are a racist. Red circle. Sex scandal. Like a red circle around like the horn of Heracross, like an arrow pointing at it. <laughs> Just like Heracross, why is it black? 
It's blue. Can you not see it? It's not black. It's like a. It's it's quite clearly like navy blue. Well, I don't care. They're all the same. <laughs> Whoa! Now who's the racist? <laughs> I'm just Stevie is I'm, racist. <laughs> a circle around you with an arrow pointing. I'm just Pokemon buggist. Or is it bug Pokemonist? Ah, oh, I think we you're should like be you're on. like Misty. Basically, you hate bugs. Mm. <clears throat> Oh, uh, it's a shame no one's going to get this raw. <laughs> it only starts next month. It's fine. It'll be in the outtakes or something. Yeah, well. Moving on to Digimon Fun. <sighs> Brace yourself. For Sam's rant hour. No, I've, I've decided to go in, into this in a, like a nice collective not collective, what's the word? Methodical way, analytical way. I'm not going to just be like, get rid of the child, why is he here? <laughs> okay. He's causing more problems than the Emperor. Are you ready? Yep. Brownie debt. Yeah, whatever. That's fine. Everybody, everybody's got brownie debt. I haven't. I've just got student debt, which is worth a lot more. <laughs> Probably. No, yeah, it is, Sam. It is worth more than brownie debt. I don't owe anyone It's actual money, not confectionery. <sighs> For some reason in my notes I've written down Multiplication is addition Ken Even though it's quite clearly The Digimon Emperor And also I spell Addition as Addition As in like The first edition mm. I must have been really tired It's addition Not edition Why am I fixing this typo? There's literally no point Okay mm. And then Cody has so a cold So the Emperor <laughs> Cause it's <laughs> I'm just dying Help I can't do this anymore. Oh, they evolved with armor. Like, they armor evolved. Yes. We- Yours is out there right now <laughs> doing the same thing. <laughs> they know it's happened because they've literally just seen it happen. You've seen it happen. So why are you saying these words? It's for no one. Okay. It's like we're all at a table eating cake. I've eaten my cake. You don't, and then you eat Sam, your slice Sam, of cake, and I go, Sam, you've eaten your slice of cake. Just, just save your breath. I'm so warm. I'm so angry. <laughs> I am currently drenched in sweat. My my water is long gone. <sighs> I'm now like leaning against my bed and just a box as I can't like sit normally. <laughs> we are both suffering for this podcast. <laughs> Tyrannomon, not really new. Is it not? They turned up in one episode of the previous season of Digimon where Etamon had them. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. What, what's the other new one, then, apart from Heracross? Um, th- there isn't one. Oh, okay. <laughs> that must be, like, one of the quickest Mano Manos, because we just want to die. We've been recording for almost two hours, anyway. Um, right, I'm going to stop there. But outro three, two. No, outro. We can do that after the, no. we can do that at the end of Admon, honestly. No. I just need to stop now. Okay. Otherwise, I will, I will probably collapse. I'm not joking. I need to go and have a shower. I need some food. Okay. That was the plane. Sorry, that's my ride. I've got to go. <laughs> A game of Othello? Have you not heard of Othello? It's the thing where you put down, like, white and black counters and flip them over. Oh, okay. I thought you meant the play. A game of Othello. I don't know. (laughs) Whatever. It was a joke. The name rings a bell. Like, the game rings a bell, but I don't know how to play it. Maybe someone will have heard of it besides me. It's such an old game, though. But it's... uh, Who cares? I've done it now. Okay, well, it uh, cuts to the Emperor, who's in his little weird room with a chair and floating screens. It's a super minimalist room. And he's explaining that... uh, Oh, no, he's not. I don't know why I always thought they were there. Wrong moment. (sighs) Could you hear the motorbike then? Very briefly. (sighs) I'm I'm on the opposite side of the building, and somehow... It's it's like a split second of a motorbike. (sighs) Every single time. Every time. I can't wait till later on where we have to have him talking to his emo cousin. <laughs> emo cousin. <laughs> Just remembering uh, all of else what happens in this season. What we have like, to come. How, how do we get there? How do we get to like stones in soup and emo boy? <laughs> 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 we 
we get there somehow, and it's a natural progression that we get from this episode. Anything else, or do you want to leave this episode in the fridge? That's supposed to be a food pun. That's what I came up with. I'm sorry. <laughs> that was really shitty. Bad. That was really bad. Sorry. I wanted a food pun, and I came up with, let's just leave it in the fridge. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay. We can delete this episode if you want. We can just delete this episode, and I'll just jump out the window. <laughs> no, I think we should carry on. Uh, okay. I can taste pickle in my mouth for some reason. I had Monster Munch last night at work, pickled uh, pickled onion Monster Munch, and I brushed my teeth like twice, like when I got home from work and when I woke up, and I can still taste pickle. Well, that's then, not nice. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Render my side. I mean, Patamon gets a short end of the sticks this season. He gets a horse, and then he becomes a clay doll. <laughs> That's his new power that he gets. Horse form and doll form. <laughs> Meanwhile, so you get like... <laughs> bird person. What does Gatamon get? You get... Sphinx gets, and, and cool bird cat lady. They're both pretty cool compared to horse. Horse. horse Actually, and like... Butter. Nefertimon's attack is weird where it fires a beam of light into the sky and then from that beam beco- comes a stone tablet that launches at them. That's its attack. Like, Rosetta Stone is literally, instead of firing an attack at them, I will fire an attack upwards, just a beam of pink light. From within that light will come a stone tablet that will fly at you. There's so many extra steps there. <laughs> <laughs> just fire the stone tablet. You don't need to launch a beam into the sky. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So my monster weeks pat him on because he just did. He had no time for this stuff, and he just wanted to pretend he was caught. Okay. Bap, bap. There we go. <laughs> That's all the intro <laughs> music we need. Bap, bap. Um, and we we're starting with a little confusion, isn't it? Yes, we are. Like I know I've done this sheet properly because I, I double checked it, but I want to triple check it with you just to make sure. <laughs> Because I'm the one that has the podcast straight. You're the one who plans things, Stevie. I like writing okay. things down. That's it. I don't. I wing it. I do sometimes. Just not when it comes to the podcast. <laughs> I don't have organisational skills. I should, but I don't, because that takes organisa- uh, organisation <laughs> <laughs> Just okay. organisation. I don't have that. Let's start with illusion confusion. Hoot hoot. 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 Mm-hmm. Oh, I think you actually dropped out. No. Oh, so it's just hoot hoot and then silence for ten seconds. Okay. I did actually write down the plot, but just like, no, I'd rather just say hoot hoot twenty times. Do you not agree that that's not what this episode was about? It's not really. It's it's about um, hoot hoot about being lost in the forest with hoot hoot. Okay, so <laughs> do you want me to do an actual? We can plot? just ju- we can just jump into it. No, it's okay. It's okay. We can do wood hoot hoot. I mean, there's so little to the plot. We can that's that's more than enough that we need. Like the plot can literally just be this Pokemon this time. <laughs> Might hear purring because bandits come in and now he wants fuss and attention. Oh. <laughs> you can show there, boy. Cody literally runs and puts himself in Was that severe the and immediate. Yes. <laughs> this is actually the first episode of Digimon Filler we've had, apparently. Yeah, yeah. It, it Wait, what happened? Seem- seemed so. What happened in Pardon? Iron Vegemon that made it not filler? You were the one who said it was not filler. Why did I say that? <laughs> I don't know. I need to check. Oh, because um, it taught us about the dark spires, that's why. Okay. That was it. Anyway, th- back to this episode. <laughs> we see, for example, we'd see Cody punch a Digimon and then TK goes, Cody really likes Digimon and we've got to understand that he likes Digimon because that's the thing we've seen that, that we've been told and we have to believe what we're told, not what we've seen. Cody is so reliable as he goes to a kendo lesson rather than the digital world, falls into the water, gets hypothermia, and puts himself in danger in front of a shellman. 
for no reason. Yes. All things mm. a reliable person would do. And then hinders them. He's hindered them three times at the moment. Twice in this episode. A lot of my issues are just with Cody. Yep. Cody's dragging the show down and is boring everything. Mm. They could replace him. Honestly, they could replace him with a plank of wood. He would still achieve the same amount. He might as well be a plank of wood. Mm. He is just plank from Ed, Ed, and Eddie. They've just drawn <laughs> Izzy and Joe's face onto a plank of wood. <laughs> God, that's Cody. Mm. Okay, I've got the Wii Shop channel theme in my head today, so prepare for a lot of that in this episode. It's funny because neither of us shop. Especially on the Wii. (laughs) (laughs) Say that again. Uh, You can't. Why did I cut out Discord? Don't do that to me. And it goes to Cody's house next, where Cody's mom is making donuts. (laughs) Oh, okay. Now I get the joke. Because it, like, you're like, um, it cuts to Cody's house and his mum's, and then you laughed, and I was like, there was a joke there somewhere. <laughs> I'm not going to pretend to laugh, I'll have to just be honest and be like, I didn't hear what you said. Oh, no. I can hear your chair. So can I. It's very squeaky. Yes, yes it is. I'll have to try and sit still. That's what all the kids were wearing in America. We're the kids in America. Whoa. 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 <laughs> just like... Um, <laughs> just destroy the mic. <laughs> right, <they> fix that. <laughs> That's better. Um, I just but punched me, me, my pop like, filter. <laughs> yeah, I fully heard it, and then I heard the reverberation, and then, like... Uh, electric sound. Ooh. I'm now getting like massive um, feedback in the mic. No, no, no. No, in, in the recording it was weird. Oh. I think it settled itself. Okay. Cool. I haven't um, broken it. What was I saying? One sec. I'm going to change my position. I'm sorry, weirdly. On the ceiling. Yes. How did you know? That's like the weirdest place I could think of to sit. <laughs> I'm losing my voice slowly. Oh no! Need to go and get another bottle of bourbon. Need to feel normal. <laughs> Just need to feel normal. Okay. It's Pokemon. Po- Pokemon's made me turn to drink. <laughs> okay. Um. One, two, three, four, five, six. Bananas. Yeah. Good. <laughs> <laughs> Next up is Guardian Angel. I was so hoping you would say Guardian Angle. But there's no angles. There are no angles to look at this episode from. (laughs) So we can move on then, can't we? (laughs) (laughs) Mm. I give up. Okay. Cut music, whatever it is. I need to go put tea on. So... Can I be back in like five minutes? Uh, can we finish this then go do it? Uh, do I need to go in like ten. You need to go minutes? in ten minutes. I need to go soon. Soon, okay. Let's. Man away, man, I won't take that long. We can no. get through it. <clears throat> the first episode we're watching is Ken's Secret. That's not what the cheat sheet says. Does it not? Does it not just say, let's start with Ken's Secret? Oh, I just ad-libbed it. (laughs) We're not watching Ken's Secret, though. We're discussing it. Well, I guess we'll have to do it that way then. Let's start with... Ken's Secret. I know, I'm letting out gas. (laughs) I'm sorry. (laughs) I'm so sorry. (sighs) It's going to be a long recording. Let's start with Chronic Heartburn. (laughs) What do you like about Chronic Heartburn? That I don't have it. I like how it makes you feel like there's a fire inside you at all times, and it's trying to get out. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> the delicious taste of burning. <clears throat> this, this is the closest to being an Agamon you've ever been. That actually makes me really happy. I'm so... <laughs> thank you for making me feel better. <laughs> Although, if I do fire out, like, whatever's inside me, it will not be pepper breath. <laughs> it will be sad and tragic and awful. Extremely, extremely disgusting. Right. <clears throat> That's how you'll play golf. Speaking of which, it's a Switch game, which is like called Infinite Golf, and it's a basically make your own min- no infinite mini golf. And the oh my god, I'm trying to talk over this. 
I don't know if you can hear the, the motorbikes in the background, but there was just like four motorbikes in quick succession. <laughs> yeah, I heard them. Uh, I was just trying to vamp until they went, but they didn't stop. Um, but there's a mini game. There's a game called Infinite Mini Golf, which is like a, a Mario Maker, but for mini golf, and it looks really good. Because I like mini golf, because it's crazy. Or crazy golf. Crazy golf's crazy. Crazy golf. So he's done 45 goals in a season, which is, isn't hard to understand. It means that in all the games they've played this season, he's done for, he's done 45 goals. Oh my god! <laughs> scored. He has scored. So he scored 45, 45 goals, goals which is a lot. Davis comes to this conclusion that if he can even get close to beating Ken, that he'll become a lidging, a lidging leavened. Oh <laughs> I'm not firing on all cylinders today. <clears throat> A living uh, legend. A living legend, exactly. I mean, to be fair, they had their Digimon with them, and I think I would go and sit through an episode of Sport Ball. An episode of Sport Ball! <laughs> oh my god, why am I so... <laughs> it's called a match, Sam. No, what you do is, you play an episode of Sport Ball <laughs> to do a goal. <laughs> I wish I was joking about this. I'm being so serious that I just... I, I'm not... I can't... I, I just... I don't know. Now let's talk about Snubble Snobbery. <laughs> oh my god. Yes, please. Okay. Hello? Hello. <laughs> don't be weird. Don't be weird. I'm not in the mood for this. <laughs> I no, honestly, like it was so quiet. I'm just hearing "hello." I was like, "No," <laughs> I immediately felt unwell. I hate it. I hate it so much. Nice friends you got there, Sam. I don't have friends. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> you fool! Giant Digimon. I didn't think it would be that big, but it's basically like a blue. It looks almost like. Dab, um, dab, dab, dab. Pardon? You said blue. Uh huh. Oh, so I went double D double die. <sighs> okay. I'm sorry. All my brain can manage today is just bad song references. <laughs> but I like, um, I like the fact that the kids are going, matter. pardon? Just ignore me, I'm dying. Oh, okay. The kids are in the majestic town of Palm Hills, which, um, Brock says, which is, for me, it's code for this episode is filler, because anytime Fill it's night. not, did you say it's filler night? Villa, Villa night. There we go. And then I don't know any more words beyond that. It's some kind of Michael Jackson song. It, it sounds alright, because it's a Villa. Side note. I do enjoy a good I bath. I don't have a bath in my in my house. We have a, like a massive oh. stand-in shower, which is nice, but I'm a bath person. I could put, I could be in a bath for four hours. It's fine. Like, that's what I do. That's what I like to do. I like to soak, but... We have a shower, so baths look really nice in anything I've ever ever seen. Things with baths, like just the nice. I don't know that. I'm trying to think of a way you could have a bath and a shower, but I can't. That's been bath moments. <laughs> it's a new segment, bath moments. <coughs> uh, I'm sorry, losing my voice. Just keep an eye on it, and it won't get away from you. I'll just put it in a box somewhere. <clears throat> So Misty says that she's never seen a dining room, uh, a dining woman. <laughs> a dining <laughs> Misty says she's never seen a dining woman so big. <laughs> I've never seen women eat before. No, honestly, the entire sentence is like it's supposed to be. It never sees a di- never seen a dining room so big. So it kind of she's never seen a dining woman so big. So mean. <laughs> I've never seen a woman eat food who's so as big as you. Please leave. Please leave now. The idea of them saying, Snubble's really not happy here. There they go. There goes Ash and Co. They've just driven off with Snubble. Did you hear them? Well, they can't exactly drive off. Did you hear, no, did you hear them with the, did you hear the motorbike? No, I didn't. Oh, you'll probably hear it. But yeah, I made a, I made a, I made a joke. You didn't hear the motorbike, so it came out of nowhere. I'm sorry for making a bad joke. Uh, Discord doesn't pick up sirens and things. Okay, that's quite good. Um, but yeah, so, well, you'll hear it on the recording then, anyway. Yeah. Uh, I guess it is closer. Oh, sorry. One sec. Bandit wants hugs. He's literally jumped. Oh! He's literally like gone up on hind legs and put his hands on a shoulder, which is like a signal for it. He wants to snuggle, so I've got to pick him up. Oh! Can you hear him? No, sadly. One sec. What about now? No, Discord is failing me. <laughs> well, you need to know that from now on, I've got a uh, a cat in my ar- uh, on my shoulder. Well, in my arms. Can you can you send pics? 
of the kitty. Oh, one sec. I would, I would, but I haven't got my phone next to me. Um, no. Yeah, no, he does this thing, like, when he wants a hug, he comes over to you and, like, he'll walk up your, like, fr- he'll walk his two front legs up onto your shoulder, which is signal for, I would like to be up there. So you have to sort of pick him up. Oh. Because we spent all of his youth, I mean, he's still young, but all of his, like, kitten stage uh, are holding him like that, so now he, like, likes to chill out on us. <laughs> oh, wait. Now he's on the other side with the microphone. That's cool. So you might hear purring. Hello, fools, and welcome to the Moncast. You can't My call name is Stevie. Fools. No, we're not doing that. We're not, we're not starting like that. I can call them fools if I want to. They are all fools. Hello, esteemed guests. I am Sam. <laughs> esteemed guests. Yeah, they're wonderful people listening to us. You may think they're foolish, but I think they're very clever for listening to this. Uh, yeah, so, this episode starts off with... <clears throat> I'm going to say that again because I lost my voice halfway through. Let me have a sip of tea. Let me replenish my Britishness. <clears throat> have you disappeared? No, I'm just thinking. Oh. I'm a very quiet thinker. I don't think I know any loud thinkers. Thinking! Loud thinking! Ah! I don't know. Uh... Oops, I just punched the table. <laughs> I heard. One sec. Bandit, dude. He's now in the ho- the Hoover box. Mano in Mano. You're oh, introducing thing. it. It's not. It's, it's, it's evens for you and I'm odd. Yeah. This is episode nine, isn't it? Yeah. Oh. Shush, I thought it was ten. Okay. You're so good at maths. Now it's... <laughs> I am the best at math. Oh, mm, what lovely, lovely noises. Sound. Lovely noises for people to listen oh, to. Oh, they're going to love that. Mm. That won't gross them out. Some ASMR for them. Mm. Oh, that's good. That's some good slurping noises. Today we are talking about in this ASMR video. <laughs> We're going to be talking about the Pokemon light. The Pokemon that make us feel happy. Why do you sound like you're on the verge of just exploding? <laughs> With tears or anger? Just with the rage. Oh, I'm always like, like that. You're just holding it back and suppressing it. I'm just it. holding back the rage, the hellfire inferno inside my heart. I'm just holding it back ever so slightly. I could, you're scaring I could ex- me. I could explode at any moment. I could get so angry, but I won't. This is very uncomfortable. Good. I hope it is. Please stop. Oh, sorry about the slurping. I'll try and not do that. Oh my god. Okay, this is a tangent. I'm sorry for you editing this letter. Already? I need need to send you something. Just send it in the Discord. It's an advert for contact lenses. But it's so funny. Why are they even called contact lenses? Because I make contact with the eye. My brand! (laughs) Right there. I'm going to send you something and you have to watch it because it's just the the worst joke. (sighs) Look, look with your special eyes. I don't... Why are you sending it me? Um, Slack. Oh, I have to go to the cr- <laughs> This is great. I'm watching it now. They won't have my brand. I have special eyes. This is a real advert they made. <laughs> what? I don't understand. I have special eyes. I'm watching that again. Look. Look with your special eyes. My brand. <laughs> Overly dramatic dramatization. It's just so. I don't know. My brand. <laughs> My brand. Uh, I think I've just got Christmas burnout, and I just hope you're ready for this a burned out shell of a person. This is going to of... be the worst episode we've ever done. Uh, My brand. <laughs> look, look with your special eyes. <laughs> There's some dumb things on the internet, and I love them. <laughs> Hello, Bix. Hello. Oh, kitty! She's putting weight on. We're feeding her all the time and stuff. She's also got infected gums and teeth, and her teeth are falling out because she's so old. She's like 20. That's an old cat. She is old. Yes. So, yeah, they get defeated by a stationary wall. <laughs> and, uh, and Bix he- doesn't like that. Kenneth. Kylo Ken. Ken. K. 
Kenjamin, Kennethy, Ken Grimm, uh, Kamantha, uh, Ken Kenobi. I'm trying to think of other Bens that are famous. Uncle Ken's rice, <laughs> Uncle Ken, just from Spider Man. <laughs> Um, but yeah, no, like, like, Digimon One had the more interesting Ken-ten. stuff. Okay. <laughs> I think that's enough. I think Kylo Ken is still the best one. Because mm. he's an edgelord. 